You won't hear me use the word servant leadership ever. And maybe I'll back up for a second. You're going to hear me talk about it, but only in the context of why I don't talk about it. Why I don't use that term. Maybe you've heard that before, servant leadership, somebody that serves their team and all of those things. And it's a term that's been around a very, very long time. I don't know if it's something that maybe it's a trigger for me or something, but I think that the term servant leadership misses a huge point that leadership is really all about. And that key point is that ultimately the leader is still accountable for the outcome. So the reason I don't use the term servant leadership is, at least in my mind, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts, a servant is somebody that serves absolutely, definitely, and in the context of my philosophy around what right looks like. Leaders eat last, but they always go first. Well, the leaders eat last part is exactly that, where the, the leader supports and maybe serves, provides resources, whatever that is, for the team. Totally get it. Totally get it. The part that I struggle with and that I've come to a conclusion on with regard to servant leadership and the term servant and why I don't use it is because a servant in the purest form of the word is just doing that. They are serving. But being a leader is not just that. One of the challenges and one of the burdens of leadership is still executing on the outcomes. Your organization your shareholders, your boss, uh, your family, whoever it is that you are working for and working about still require results. You are responsible for driving results, outcomes, and all of that stuff. So maybe that's increased profit, better efficiency, deliverables, a project on time, on budget, you name it. So the phrase servant leadership, while I get the intention of it, I really, really do, and the intent of the word servant, that misses one of the most critical parts of leadership. And again, that is ensuring accountability and ensuring outcomes. That's where it gets very, very challenging with regard to leadership and, and exerting social influence. Because if you are truly there to serve, then you will never have a difficult conversation. If you are there just to serve, you will always put the team's needs first before your own. If you are there all only to serve, you will go through your entire career, not advancing your career, and watching everybody else get promoted and accolades around you. They'll be increasing their impact, they'll be increasing their influence, they'll be increasing their income, while you don't. So ultimately, I really want to be clear that it, a leader is there to support and be of service. But you as a leader are not a servant. And the reason for that is, unlike a servant in a castle or, you know, back in the medieval days, whatever that is, whatever was conjured up in your head at the word servant, unlike that situation, you are responsible for outcomes and you are responsible and accountable for making sure that the organization gets what it needs, that the organization gets what it's hired you to do, what it is paying you to do. So there lies the challenge. There lies the dichotomy or the balance or the dance that is social influence and that is leadership. How do you get those incomes? How do you get those results while being of service, while being supportive, in the context of what does right look like, leaders eat last, but they always go first? Well, I'll tell you what, if leadership was easy, everybody would be good at it. Let's face it, you're dealing with one of the most complex variables on the planet, humans. It's a challenge. So I want to clear that up because the word servant leadership and the phrase servant leadership is thrown around so much. and. Again, I just want to be clear, it, it, it could just be a trigger for me, but I think it misses just such a massive part of leadership, and that is the accountability, the results, those sorts of things. Don't forget that. 
And I'm not saying not to use the word servant phrase, servant leadership. Sure, you do you. But I'm not going to use it because I support absolutely a thousand percent recognizing a thousand isn't an actual number. Totally. But I've got results that I need to drive because if we're not moving forward as a leader, both professionally and personally, then that's where I'm going to stay and I'm going to stagnate and I will not be moving forward. So I just wanted to mention that to you. Give that some thought when you start to use the word servant or the phrase servant leadership and that sort of thing. I'm not saying again, not to use it, but I, I rarely, if ever, will say that and just food for thought for you.